Um, but I do request that you take a look at this and also write it down if you didn't get your homework done, so therefore you can have it completed and help you out. So here we have 13 minus um, 4x to the 9 plus uh, x cubed. So it asks us to first put it in standard form. Wait. Excuse me, yes. Let's Which one are we on? Are we not doing one of those? I'm doing one of those. I'm doing no, number 23. Oh, okay. Wait, wait, what? So we have, we have this problem. What we need to do is we need to put it in a standard form, OK? And remember, standard form is when we look, take a look at our exponents, which we call our degrees, and we have them in descending order, meaning we're going to place our largest exponent, which we call the degree of the polynomial, first. So I look up here, and I determine which of these has the largest exponent. And you can obviously determine that this term which is a negative 4x to the 9th, has the largest exponent, which is 9. So I'm going to place that first. So remember, it's a negative 4, so it's negative 4x to the 9th. Then I look up here and I say, all right, what's the next largest exponent? And that's going to be x to the 3rd. Then last is we're going to have 13 as your constant. And 13 does actually have an exponent. It's actually going to be an exponent to the 0 power. All right. Why is it to the 0 power? Well, because any number raised to the 0 power is 1. 1 times 13 is 13. So we could write this as an exponent if we want, but just always remember your numbers are always going to be last. So you have negative 4x to the 9th plus x cubed plus 13. Now what we need to do is I ask you to find the degree and the leading coefficient. So the degree of your polynomial is going to be your largest exponent or of your leading term. So remember, since we set it up in descending order, it's pretty easy to notice, okay, the largest should be in front, which is obviously we get 9. So the degree of this polynomial is going to be equal to 9. And then our leading coefficient, which I'll just abbreviate with LC, our leading coefficient is going to be the numeric coefficient of your leading term. So I take a look at it and I say, which number is in front of my term, you know, x to the 9th? And that's going to be negative 4. So the leading coefficient will be negative 4. Make sense? Yep. <laughs>